Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good day, Marcy Keckler. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm so excited to talk with you. I want my audience to know that Marcy Keckler is the Vice President of Financial Advice Strategy at Ameriprise. And today she's going to look at a study that, said, that reveals how couples manage their money. All right, go ahead and give us some Brad and Angelina advice. We got all that money. We want to know how we manage our money, too. Well, what we learned is that there are some secrets you can apply. So seven out of 10 couples that we talked to said they were on the same page financially and they did some things that made a difference. The first one that's important is agreeing on financial goals. So couples who had agreed on financial goals were much more likely to have financial harmony and it makes sense to write those goals down so you know what you're working toward together. A second when, secret we learned well, from these... Well, let me, excuse me, let yeah. me interrupt you. If yeah. they agree on those goals, are they making finances a priority? They absolutely are. We talked to couples and said, how often are you talking about money? And they said it's one of the most common things they talk about. They talk about money more than politics, more than world events. So they're making it a priority, and that helps them be on the same page. All right. Oh, okay. Let's move on to spending limits. So couples said they had set a spending limit and anything over that amount they're going to talk to their spouse or partner before they spend it that amount varied depending on what life stage people are at we talked to couples in their 20s all the way up to into their 70s and it varied a little bit but the average was about four hundred dollars so couples who haven't done that might want to think about agreeing on a spending limit and so then they can understand how together they're going to use the resources that they have Okay, what about bank accounts? Are they joint or single? The couples who have gotten it figured out together tend to have joint accounts. One account structure that I recommend couples consider is having a joint account. And that joint account can be really the main place. You put most of your income there, you use that to pay the household expenses and the bills, but then also allow each person to have an individual account. I think of it as ours, yours, and mine. If they agree on how much is going to go into each individual account, then each member of the couple can have the freedom and independence to spend as they see fit from their own account while working together on that joint account. Marcy, I'm telling you on a personal level, I found out two things if you can share. If you can share a bank account and share the radio in the car, you got it going on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, how about the uh, retirement planning? Well, we did ask people, are you on the same page around what you need to do for retirement? And we, we found good news. 92% of the couples who we talked to said they are on the same page with regard to their retirement savings goal. They had a number in mind and they agreed on it. They weren't quite as much on the same page around how they were doing to achieving that goal. So they sometimes didn't see eye to eye on how much progress they'd made. And that's where we know Another technique that helps is to work with a financial professional. The couples who we talked to who were working with a financial advisor or some sort of a financial professional said that person really made a difference in helping them reach agreement. 40% of couples said that advisor or financial professional helped them bridge a gap. And we know that really does give you accurate information. How close are you to achieving those goals? They can run the numbers and you can have confidence. Marcia, let me ask you one more question. If you didn't get all of these points, score yourself high on all the points that you shared, how can you improve their communication? Well, one of the key things that couples can do is to sit down and talk about their money regularly. And we also have some other great information on our website at Ameriprise.com slash couples and money study. People can find more and figure out how to weave it into their own relationship. 
Marcy Kleckler is responsible also for the Confident Retirement Approach at Ameriprise. I want to thank you so much. I can't wait to go to that site. I got eh, about three or four of those. I got I to gotta work on getting five. I want to be on the top of the list. Thank you, Marcy. Thank you so much.